My name is Barb Berwin, and I am really happy to be a part of the Boone Slick Regional Library Summer Reading Program. I am a local author. I teach piano and other assorted music classes at Central Methodist University in Fayette. And I live just outside of New Franklin with my husband, Milton, and my two cats and a dog. And I have written a collection of picture books about a handsome tuxedo cat. And the cool thing about these books is that they are actually based on a true life cat. So before we have story time today, I'd like to introduce you to Murray. This is Murray. I was hoping to catch him doing something more interesting than sleeping, but that's what he seems to want to do today. He's curled up behind my desk, which is where I do a lot of my writing and grading and such. Murray, you wanna say hi? Nope, he doesn't. So we'll let him sleep and we'll go have story time. The story I'd like to read for you today is entitled Murray, and it is the story of how he followed me home one day and found his forever family. And on the cover here, I'd just like to point out the illustrator is Shara Sarula. A special thanks and shout out to her. I think you're going to really love her pictures. They're really cute, and she does amazing work. So thank you to Shara. Murray was a tiny kitten with a big problem. He was mostly happy, living alone in an abandoned doghouse on the edge of a small town in the country. Murray ate crickets for breakfast, chased butterflies in the afternoon, and slept on a bunch of bristly sticks at night. Sometimes, though, Murray felt lonely, and there was one thing he wished for. a home of his own. One spring day, a lady with a purple scarf and a dog that sort of looked like a beagle walked by Murray. Murray was instantly curious, which was one of his finest qualities, and decided to follow them. Murray trotted briskly behind the lady with the purple scarf and the dog that sort of looked like a beagle for a long time. He didn't know exactly how long, as Murray had never learned to tell time. Murray started to get nervous and wondered if perhaps he should have stayed in the old doghouse where it was safe. But confidence was another one of Murray's finest qualities. So even though it seemed as if the lady with the purple scarf might actually be trying to lose Murray, he ran a little faster to catch up. After dodging several cars while crossing the highway, weaving between a few tractors, looping endlessly around some kind of track, which made no sense to Murray, and walking for what seemed like forever, he saw a quaint green bungalow. The lady with the purple scarf stopped to go in the house and Murray attempted to look extraordinarily cute. Murray thought he heard her mutter, no more pets, when the door shut firmly. Murray felt a bit sad and a bit nervous, but he chose to remain optimistic and took a nap on the shady porch. Much time went by that afternoon. Murray wasn't sure how much, as he still had never learned to tell time. Eventually, a man with a scruffy beard opened the front door, placed a bowl of water on the porch, and scattered kitten food on the floor. Murray purred enthusiastically and rubbed against the man's legs, trying to look even cuter than before. Suddenly, Murray swayed at the stiff breeze on his face as the door swished shut again. Murray could hear the lady with the purple scarf and the man with the scruffy beard talking excitedly inside the bungalow as he ate. It seemed to Murray that they were talking very, very loudly, and must be discussing a topic that was very, very important. Murray's tummy was full and he felt content. 
However, he's still worried that maybe his curiosity had gotten him into trouble once again. Perhaps he should have stayed in the ramshackle doghouse. He decided to wait, hoping something wonderful would happen soon. A while later, as the sun began to lower and the moon began to rise, the man with the scruffy beard opened the front door. Murray was curious, so he bravely peeked his head inside. And what Murray saw was amazing. He spotted fluffy and sparkly toys to bat across the floor, plenty of kitten food in a pink bowl to eat, huge window sills that were perfect for taking a bath, and lots of warm, cozy places for snoozing. The lady with the purple scarf and the man with the scruffy beard smiled at Murray, so he strolled inside and jumped up onto the coziest spot of all. Murray purred happily and settled down for his evening nap. Murray finally knew he was home. And there's a picture of Murray as a kitten when he followed me home that day. I hope you enjoyed the stories today. Murray and I would love it if you would read a lot of books this summer. It's not only fun, but if you keep track of your books, write everything down in your log, you could be qualified to win some really cool prizes. We hope you have a really great summer. Hopefully we can meet you in person someday, but for now we're going to say goodbye and happy reading.